Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech, and I'm going to do a little bit different version of the, the nitrogen cycle explanation. And so here we go. Here you are at your fish store. You've got your aquarium, your filter, and all that stuff, and you're already thinking about getting a big bag of fish to take home and put in your new tank. Trouble is, if you take your fish home and set them up that day, there's a good chance they're all going to die. And then you'll be unhappy. Like most people, you've heard this story before. If you've ever shopped for aquariums at yard sales, I took my fish home and set it up and it ran okay for a week and then everything died. Well, there's a good reason why you should take a test kit home instead of a bag of fish. There's a biological process that you don't often hear about when you pick up that new fish tank. It's called the nitrogen cycle. It's a process that takes place in every single aquarium and it's absolutely essential to keeping healthy fish. The nitrogen cycle actually isn't very complicated, but it works a little like this. You have a fish, the fish eats its fish food and excretes some waste. That waste turns into ammonia. The ammonia then turns into nitrites, which are also very toxic, and then into nitrates, which are less toxic and basically the end of the cycle. Normally, this process can take up to three to four weeks. And uh, the truth is, it's different for many fish keepers. It's really hard to tell. It depends on so many different things. There are some things you can do to kind of kickstart the process. Mainly uh, getting driftwood, plants, maybe uh, old filter media or a gravel from an established tank. Now, if you have friends that keep fish, or you've got a favorite fish store that likes to help you out, you might be able to get some of this stuff from them and that'll make the whole process a lot better. But let's say you don't have access to any cultured aquarium material. There's basically two ways to start from scratch. One is a fish in cycle where one fish or maybe a couple of fish kind of tough out the process. The trouble is ammonia has to build to a very high level before the cycle will start to take place. So you can add some cultured bacteria to kind of kickstart the process. And eventually that ammonia or those good bacteria will build up on all the different pieces of filter material. The other option is called fishless cycling. And you can add ammonia to the, to the water or you can add some fish food. To tell you the truth, there's a bunch of different recipes, even from adding old filters and other things to the water. And uh, there's a lot of opinions on the internet about which way is correct. Just pick the way that works for you. Any experienced fish keeper is going to tell you that patience is key. And no matter which method you choose, you've got a little bit of a weight on your hands. In the long run, it's going to pay off for you though. Just remember that as you add fish, your, the bacteria is going to have to grow to compensate. So at work slowly and in no time, you're going to have a fish tank you'll be extremely proud of. If this has helped you at all, I hope you share it with your friends, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.